the Democrats and the Republicans and all the pundits on CNN and Fox News were trying to embrace the, the Occupy Wall Street movement, some of these folks were like, no, this is not about uh, a political campaign for Obama, this is not about Mitt Romney, this is not about uh, the Republicans or the GOP, uh, the GOP or uh, any, any political movement. This, is what, this was a, a totally independent uh, movement of people that grew tired of, uh, again, economic, the, the lack of economic opportunities and the uh, political uh, brinksmanship in Capitol Hill. Thanks. Thank you, Robert. So, Alexis, would you like to, what do you think would make sense more? Alexis, do you want to connect this with the movement occupying Russia? Well, yeah. Okay. I, uh, I would agree definitely that, like, Russia and the Occupy movement that just uh, have traveled to Russia as an idea only after six months, uh, I guess, uh, after uh, American ones, for example. Uh, but it also had a lot of uh, same traits and it was actually interesting. This is from the main events. The first, because uh, the Occupy idea had come to Russia like, like by waves, and first, like no one actually bought it because you know what's the point of protesting against banks and corporations when you know like <laughs> your own government is much worse than any international government corporations and your uh, country debt is not, you know, uh, is already paid by, by those. So it's just choosing the, uh, the bandit who is actually kind of controlling you. So, uh, but the point is that the first Occupy started not in Moscow, but in Novosibirsk in, in November, and it was like 20 people, and obviously Novosibirsk in November, it's like really cold, like some local blogger who's more integrated. So he was, um, like it, it had no, didn't sound uh, sound any bell for anyone. Then the second iteration was in March when people decided that after, right after the elections that they are not leaving the fountain, so it was occupied fountain. And then in May, in May after um, the protests in uh, in the uh, 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 up to the before the the protest started before the inauguration of uh, the new old president. And uh, after they were provoked and uh, brutally dispersed, the people just wanted to liberate some space that they used to have in the internet that belongs to them. They just moved to the place that they knew, you know, like that could accommodate them. And it started uh, at Chisti uh, and and later it moved to the uh, to the thing that was called Occupy Abai, and it was. It was actually also a, a very interesting internet-enabled interaction, like Occupy Abai. So, like one of the leaders, let's say, of this movement, like sometimes they call him an opposition leader, like Alexei Navalny. He said, like, "Well, we're staying at the monument to some whatever Kazakh writer," uh, and uh, the Kazakh Twitterers and bloggers said, "Like, hey, like this is our icon, like uh, uh, a bicon and buy it. Like he's like very important for us." And he's like uh, uh, a really important author, and uh, like everyone, okay, everyone found out immediately who is uh, a bicon and buy it, and then someone just invented it, like yeah, let's occupy a buy because it sounded, you know, like <laughs> right at the moment. And it, after that, it, well, you can see a picture pretty well, you know, like people just uh, telling lectures, playing uh, playing songs. Uh, cooking in a kitchen, having uh, Wi-Fi in a carton box, um, uh, like lots of Wi-Fi wizards just staying in the same box in order to uh, let everyone uh, tweet and uh, like Wi-Fi network who called Putin war, which is Putin is a thief. Uh, well, not, well <laughs> all, all these kinds of stuff and like uh, few words of all of uh, Twitter names. So uh, I and it also was kind of a non like as all uh, in 2011 2012 protests uh, there were like much more people who were just dissatisfied with the elections and not necessarily uh, oppositionary although they they gradually become oppositionary there are lots of stories that people of entrepreneurs of people who were actually absolutely never interested in politics you know like felt that. You know, like these elections, are kind of a, a deal breaker for the for the like present social contract. And you know, like tide after tide, they finally when it became warmer because you can't talk about Russia because it's like throughout at least five months 
<laughs> because it's really cold. Yeah, so <laughs> in May it's already it's okay to occupy. Uh, so that then they just felt, and it, it ended by uh, on a pretext by the government that like they need to uh, renew the uh, renew the grass. So it's like a kind of a sarcastic that the grassroots movement <laughs> was dispersed by the pretext of the grassroots movement. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but it, nevertheless, I mean, uh, it, uh, later it had moved from one location to another, and they were like also kind of not very nice, uh, like att attempts to dis like disperse other occupied movements, and also in the five other cities, these model was replicated, but I guess the, the, the most important thing that the, the liberation of a physical space in the nature, how it is liberated in the online space, I guess it's the most important feeling, at least the, at the conclusion that I have drawn from, from this particular event.